not very hello there's not very good lighting here but we are joined by the master yeah I was just laying down here and he walked over to curl up next to me I'm just uh, laying down next to the fireplace pretty much on the hearth here and uh, and apparently we don't have a very good connection so I'm trying to turn there he goes. So I don't know if this just started again or if there was a pause, but I switched the Wi-Fi off because it didn't seem happy. I'm joined here by Saki, who's just curled up or pulled up next to me. I, I imagine he'll curl up in a minute for a little meditation. I'm sitting here on the hearth next to the fireplace. And things are poorly lit because I didn't know I was going to be doing the meditation just now, but Saki showed up and uh, I was just uh, laying here composing and uh, listening to the air move up the flue. So of course the fire's off, it's not particularly windy outside, and I don't have forced air um, on in the house, although... I see the split ductless air handler there, but it's off. So basically it's still air outside and still air in here. Of course it's somewhere near freezing outside. To have a listen. And the house is heated to, you know, 68 or whatever it is. I'm just going to put you into the fireplace a little. It's a bad video, but maybe you could hear. But it could be the furnace downstairs, but I didn't hear it go on. But you can hear the air moving in the flue, which is open. And that's what I'm doing. So I sat here to listen to that and compose. And then the cat came and started purring. So there was these two subtle things to listen to. Now, my left ear can hear the purring, and my right ear can hear the flu. My guess is that you'll hear neither, but these are the production values you guys get. Uh, makeup, lighting, the talent, uh, and the sound engineer uh, failure. But anyway, that's going to be my meditation. First, I was just kind of thinking about what might cause the air and the idea of the subtle um, sound of the air moving. And it could be physics of it, something like the open flue at the top of the chimney. And when you blow across the top of an open bottle and there's a whistle, so it could be that I'm hearing you have the air moving outside, could be air moving from the warm house out up the chimney. It could be something in the bowels of the house, like the furnace that's making, doing some kind of an exhaust, even though I don't hear it running. And I'm hearing it pass. Or some combination, or something else. And similarly, we don't know why the cats purr. We just have our surmisals, our theories, our guesses, our wives' tales, whatever the age of the wife. But anyway, uh, it put me in mind of the exhalation from the body, which is the purr happens on the exhalation. I'm guessing that this is air moving out of the house, but I don't know. Either way, it put me in mind of exhalation and how little focus we put on our exhalation in, during our practices, during our lives, during the life that we lead as if it's a practice life and we'll get another. So I'm just listening and of course considering 
my own exhalation in relation to the purring and the flu sound, which I wouldn't call a whistling, but I imagine mechanically it's, it is a whistle. I'll just be quiet, see if you can hear it. next to me or the kitty hey buddy yeah I'll give you another chance I'm gonna put the phone sort of into the fireplace and see if you can listen. So, no idea what you may have heard, but that's what I'll be listening to. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit subscribe, which probably isn't down here, but everybody does that on YouTube. Like, hit subscribe, check out my other channel, do the thing, action button, and so forth.